Imagine being able to create half a trillion cells in your lifetime. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not for the male reproductive system. This intricate and remarkable system is a marvel of biological engineering. It's not just about the birds and the bees or the stork delivering a baby. It's a complex, multifaceted system that's responsible for the continuation of our species. From producing millions of sperm cells daily to ensuring their viability, the male reproductive system is a powerhouse of creation. Each component, from the testes to the prostate gland, plays an essential role in the production and delivery of sperm. And it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. The male reproductive system ensures that each sperm cell is equipped to embark on the most important race of its life, the race to fertilize an egg. Stick around as we count down the top 10 mind-blowing facts about the male reproductive system. Starting our countdown at number 10, did you know that the male body is a veritable sperm factory? It's true, nestled within the scrotum, the testes are hard at work, day and night, producing millions of sperm. Now why such an enormous quantity, you may wonder? Well, it's all about ensuring fertility. Each time a man ejaculates, he releases between 40 million to 1.2 billion sperm. And while that may seem like overkill, consider this. Only a few hundred will even get close to an egg, and only one will be the lucky winner to fertilize it. So, it's a numbers game really, the more the merrier. This tireless production line is crucial for reproduction. So, next time you think about your body, remember, you're not just a vessel for your brain and heart. You're also a marvel of natural engineering, a relentless producer of life's essential ingredient. That's right, gentlemen, you're walking, talking sperm factories. Coming in at number 9, let's talk about the speed of these microscopic swimmers. Now prepare to be amazed because sperm cells are the Usain Bolts of the microscopic world. These tiny swimmers, each measuring about 50 micrometers, can reach speeds of up to 28 inches per hour. That's quite impressive for something so small, isn't it? But why is speed so important? Well, think of it as a race. The fastest sperm are the ones that get the chance to fertilize an egg. This is a crucial part of the conception process and the very beginning of life as we know it. Also, it's interesting to note that the speed of sperm cells is influenced by various factors such as temperature and pH levels, which can either hinder or enhance their performance. So next time you're feeling slow, remember, you've got millions of speedy swimmers inside you. At number 8, you might be surprised to learn about the lifespan of a sperm. Now, let's delve into the remarkable journey of these microscopic swimmers. Inside the male body, sperm can live for up to five weeks. They're produced in the testicles and mature in the epididymis, a long coiled tube. However, once they embark on their mission outside the body, their lifespan drastically reduces. In the open air, sperm dry out and die within a matter of minutes. In water, they might last a little longer, but not by much. The only chance for survival comes when they find themselves in the warm, moist environment they're designed to thrive in, the female reproductive tract. Even then, they have a limited window of opportunity, with a lifespan of up to five days. Yes, these microscopic swimmers have quite the short lifespan. But it's this fleeting existence that makes the journey of sperm all the more fascinating. Number seven on our list is all about the hormone that makes a man well, a man. When it comes to testosterone, the male reproductive system is the powerhouse. This hormone is largely produced in the testes and it plays a crucial role in the development of male reproductive tissues and secondary sexual characteristics. From the deepening of the voice during puberty to the growth of facial and body hair, testosterone is the conductor of this symphony of changes. But it doesn't stop at just physical changes. It also impacts mood, bone density and muscle mass. Ever wondered about that competitive streak or why men generally have more muscle mass than women? You've got testosterone to thank for that. Moreover, it's not just about quantity but also about balance. Too little or too much testosterone can lead to a range of health issues including osteoporosis or cardiovascular disease. So it's all about striking the right balance. So thank your reproductive system for that masculine charm. Coming in at number 6, let's talk about the prostate and its dual role. This walnut-sized gland, nestled deep within the male pelvis, is a real marvel of multitasking. On one hand, it's an integral part of the urinary system. It encircles the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body, helping control the flow of urine. 
On the other hand, it plays a vital role in their reproductive system. The prostate produces a substance that combines with sperm from the testes and fluid from the seminal vesicles to form semen. This milky fluid nourishes and transports sperm during ejaculation. So, whether it's assisting in the elimination of waste or aiding in the creation of life, the prostate is always hard at work. It's a little gland with a big job serving two systems and playing a key role in both urinary function and reproduction. Who knew the prostate was such a multitasker? At number 5, we're debunking a common myth. Size, gentlemen, doesn't always matter. You might be surprised to find out that the size of male reproductive organs has little to do with fertility or sexual prowess. That's right, the male organ size, whether flaccid or erect, does not determine a man's ability to father a child or satisfy a partner. Fertility is primarily about the health and mobility of sperm, not the size of the organ they're launched from. Similarly, sexual prowess is more about technique, communication, and mutual respect than any physical attribute. The world record for the largest male organ doesn't guarantee the title holder any superior fertility or prowess. Likewise, those on the smaller end of the spectrum aren't necessarily at a disadvantage. So cast aside those size-related insecurities, gentlemen. Remember, it's not about the size, it's about the performance. Number 4 on our list takes us on a journey down the vast deference highway. This remarkable structure is more than just a tube. It's the crucial conduit that transports sperm from the testes to the outside world. Imagine it as a high-speed freeway for these microscopic travelers. The vas deferens, or the sperm duct, is about 18 inches long. It may seem like a considerable distance for something so small as a sperm cell, but that's the beauty of nature's design. It's not just a journey, it's a survival race. The vas deferon isn't just a passive channel, either. Its muscular walls rhythmically contract, helping to propel the sperm forward, adding a little extra speed to their already impressive journey. So next time when you think about the male reproductive system, remember the vas deferens highway. The vital route that makes the continuation of life possible. It's a long journey, but every sperm is up for the challenge. At number 3, let's give a shout out to the seminal vesicles and their crucial contribution. Nestled behind the bladder, these small spongy pouches are unsung heroes of the male reproductive system. They might not be as famous as the testicles or prostate, but they play a pivotal role in the story of reproduction. These vesicles produce a fluid that makes up around two-thirds of the volume of a man's ejaculate. This fluid is rich in fructose, a type of sugar that provides energy to the sperm, fueling their journey towards the egg. It's like a power-packed lunchbox for the sperm on their epic quest. Additionally, the fluid from the seminal vesicles also helps to neutralize the acidity of the female reproductive tract. This creates a more hospitable environment for the sperm, increasing their chances of survival and, ultimately, fertilization. So the next time you think about sperm, remember the seminal vesicles are also playing a significant role. Coming in at number 2, did you know your scrotum is a master of temperature regulation? Quite fascinating, isn't it? The scrotum, often underestimated, is the unsung hero of the male reproductive system. Its primary function is to house and protect the testes. But did you know it also plays a crucial role in maintaining the perfect temperature for sperm production? You see, the ideal temperature for producing healthy sperm is slightly lower than normal body temperature. That's where the scrotum steps in. It acts like a natural thermostat, adjusting its position to regulate the testicular temperature. When it's too cold, the scrotum pulls up close to the body to conserve heat. And when it's too warm, it hangs low to cool off. This temperature regulation is crucial for optimal sperm production and fertility. So it turns out that the scrotum is not just hanging around, it's doing a vital job of keeping things cool. And finally, the number one fact. Here's a mystery. Why do most men have two testicles when one is enough for fertility? Now isn't that a curious conundrum? In the grand scheme of things, it seems like an unnecessary redundancy, doesn't it? But as it turns out, there's a good deal of biology and evolution at work behind this two-for-one deal. So let's delve into this fascinating puzzle. First off, let's clarify that having a single testicle can indeed result in a normal fertility level. This is because one testicle can produce enough sperm to fertilize an egg. However, having two testicles essentially doubles the production rate, increasing the chances of successful fertilization. So, from a purely mathematical standpoint, two is indeed better than one. 
But there's another factor at play here, and that's the concept of bilateral symmetry. Almost all animals, including humans, exhibit this feature. It's an evolutionary trait that provides balance and redundancy. If one organ gets injured, there's a backup. It's like having a spare tire in your car. You hope you never need it, but it's comforting to know it's there if you do. Another potential reason for the two testicle design is temperature regulation. Each testicle can move independently within the scrotum, adjusting its position to maintain an optimal temperature for sperm production. This wouldn't be possible with only one testicle. Lastly, there's a theory that the two testicle model is a result of sexual selection. In many animal species, females tend to choose mates with traits that indicate good health and high fertility. In the case of our ancestors, perhaps females preferred males with two testicles, associating it with higher fertility. Over time, this preference could have driven the evolution towards the two-testicle standard. So there you have it. The mystery of the two-testicle design is a combination of increased fertility, redundancy, temperature regulation and possibly even sexual selection. It's a fascinating glimpse into the intricacies of our biology and the power of evolution. Yes, gentlemen, you're carrying a spare. So there you have it. The top 10 facts about the male reproductive system. Let's quickly revisit this amazing journey. We started with the sperm factory, the testes, where a staggering 1,000 sperm cells are produced every second. Quite a bustling factory, isn't it? We then moved on to the speedy swimmers, the sperm cells, which can travel up to 8 inches per hour. That's persistence and determination in the microscopic world. Next, we discussed the surprisingly short lifespan of a sperm, which is only about two months from creation to ejaculation. It's a brief but eventful journey, to say the least. We also highlighted the testosterone powerhouse, the Leydig cells in the testes, which are responsible for the male characteristics we see during puberty and beyond. It's all thanks to these tiny cells. Don't forget the prostate's dual role, providing both a transport medium for sperm and protection against urinary tract infections. A real two-for-one deal. We debunked the myth that size matters, as the size of a man's reproductive organ doesn't influence fertility or sexual prowess. That's a relief, right? We also drove down the Vas Deferent Highway, the long tube that transports sperm from the testes to the urethra. It's like the autobahn for sperm. Then we acknowledged the seminal vesicles' contribution, which provide around 70% of the fluid in semen, helping to nourish and transport sperm. We also learnt about the scrotum's temperature regulation and how it keeps sperm at an optimal temperature, even if it means moving closer to or away from the body. And finally, we addressed the one testicle mystery. Turns out, a man can function perfectly with just one testicle. Talk about redundancy planning. Remember, every part of your body, even the ones we don't often talk about, is fascinating and important. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning. All right, folks. That's our journey through the incredible world of the male reproductive system. We hope you found this as fascinating as we did. But before we wrap up, we have a little homework for you. If you learned something new today, be sure to smash that like button and let us know in the comments below. Your feedback is what keeps us going and helps us bring you more of such content. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. We have many more journeys of discovery planned for you. And remember, knowledge is power and sharing it only makes it grow. So share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the fascination. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions and never stop learning.